Hello and welcome back. I'm taking a little bit of a break from crochet and switching gears to some painting projects. I recently got a bunch of new acrylic paints because I joined the Plaid Ambassador program. I figured since I use their products so much already and I have been for years, it made sense. So you might be seeing more painting projects around here. I'm really excited to use these because these are colors that I was trying to get in my previous video when I went paint shopping and a lot of these colors were sold out. So I'm really excited to have the colors I was looking for and use them in more projects. Also now, since I'm part of that program, I have a discount that I can then pass on to you guys. So if you ever want to use a 15% off code on the Plaid website for any of their products, check out the description below. You're welcome to use it. As part of this program, they have challenges to participate in. I'll mostly be sharing these on my socials if you're not following me over there. Links are down below. But I also want to share the process on my YouTube videos, though I'm not like getting paid or sponsored for this. It's just I want to share the process with you. So one of those challenges that I am trying is a back to school project since it's that time of year. And though I'm not going back to school, I still have a lot of those supplies around that I use every day. And one of them is a pencil case. I have had this pencil case since my first year of college and it's a little bland, so I think we can spice it up with some paint. I was thinking something like a swirl pattern, almost looking like it's paint poured on it, but not, and I think that would be really fun to paint with all these colors. The welcome kit I got from Plaid included two different brush packs. One is the premium brushes that are kind of like an overall good brush to use for acrylic paint. And the other set was part of the Donna Dewberry One Stroke. The barrel on those look a little bigger and if I'm being honest, I think they feel a little bit higher quality though I think both are good overall acrylic brush and I'll end up using both in all my projects. Also another good blank canvas is a clipboard. I have this around and it just, it's calling me to paint on it. So I want to do some kind of swirly thing on both of them. Clipboard. It's a um, more exciting clipboard. I really like this lilac color. What is it called? It's Orchid Wisp. This purple or really light purple, sometimes it shows up as pink. Um, but I've been using these clipboards to display random art 
So they have a little hanger here and I just hook, you know, random art that I change out every now and then. I really like, it's this noisy. I really like the finish of the matte paint. It's almost like gouache though. I think I should have put some kind of layer of um, Mod Podge or some kind of sealant or uh, gesso or something before painting because the surface is rough but I was able to get through it and I do think I should put some kind of layer of sealant over the paint because it's like bound to wear over time but I like the way it turned out. Also recently on my Instagram, I was part of a Crayola campaign for their doodle markers. It was really fun to participate in. It's not on here, but it's over there if you wanna go check it out. Follow me if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in the next adventure of art and craft and stuff. Bye.